which is the one yeah, that I'm yeah. thinking of looking at. And this is Perth Cut. I think this could potentially change our business. on the way to Bristol from my studio so I'm starting the vlog off a little bit different than usual but if you keep up with the small business diaries you will know that we are in fact on the way to Bristol to go to Roland headquarters. I'm looking forward to this because if you've been watching the vlogs I went to Barcelona and we went and visited Roland HQ and it was more like a social media type of event that they invited me out on. We ended up falling in love with the big printers because we thought for our small business business this would be like a great investment however I was still and still I'm on the fence about investing in such a huge machine and not knowing kind of too much about it so I did mention this to Roland when we went in Barcelona and then they invited me back out to their British HQ so we can pick their brains a little bit more see the machines in action a little bit more and kind of talk to them so they've actually paid for this whole like travel to go and see them again which is very exciting and I'm happy about because we wanted to see this anyway. I wanted to invest in this big printer because I think it could open up a lot of potential, but there's a lot of questions that I need to ask. And a lot of you guys had some really, really good points as well in that vlog and asked questions in that vlog, which I'm actually going to make a note of so that I can ask when I'm at Roland HQ, but I am hoping it will answer a lot of questions. We'll actually be heading to the HQ in the morning and uh, seeing it then. And I'll take you guys along with me and we'll see what we learn and I'll also give you my verdict and insight and then we will be back in the studio ready to do a calendar launch because my calendar should be getting picked up which is very very exciting so uh yeah let's enjoy the train journey i actually got myself like this um spiced christmas tea which is like cherry and spices or something it's really really nice actually uh, so i'm going to enjoy the train ride it's a five hour train ride well actually it's a four hour four and a half hour but we were really worried because when we turned up to the station like a lot of the trains were like delayed because of like the weather and damage to the tracks like all the london ones were all like cancelled and stuff so we freaked out a little bit anyway let's head to bristol and go to roland hq together shall we Anyway, now let's head off to Roland HQ. I'm very, very excited, but also a little bit apprehensive as well because there's a lot to think about with this. So yeah, I'm excited to see the printers and to know a little bit more in detail. Let's head off, shall we? Whoa, look at this BC machine here. Wow, you can do massive vinyl posters and like canvas and stuff. Oh, I thought that was big. Look at this massive flatbed printer. 
Holy smokes, have you ever seen anything so big? It was so great to come and try out the printers for myself. I didn't know what I had in mind when I first came, but I knew I wanted a slightly larger machine than the Versus Studio BN20 series. We've got to experiment with the printer themselves. This is the one yeah, that yeah. I'm thinking of looking at. Oh, a decal. I love that and how it goes. And we even printed a few of our best selling products to make sure the machine could handle it. And honestly, we were blown away by it. My files were already set up ready to go because I prepped them before I send them to my manufacturer. So I wouldn't need to have the pain of converting 400 or more stickers over to this printer since the files already work. And the printer I was most excited about was the True Viz printer. They have a solvent printer of this, which is cheaper and it also needs drying time but it's really great because it has like this roll thing that dries it and it like collects the print for you as you print in big sheets and you just wait 24 hours for it to fully dry or the UV printer which dried instantly and also could create like UV stickers and kind of cured it there and then as it was printed which definitely stood out to us the most and this was probably the most I was excited about however the UV printer is slightly more expensive uh, but we really really <laughs> loved it and we loved that the stickers would pretty much be water resistant right from the get-go okay so the alignment's slightly off there but not on that one weirdly Oh yeah, slightly off, so you would just recalibrate. Yeah. Oh, and this is perfect. Yeah. Pop it out like that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, cut needs to be a bit deep, basically. Yeah, so we just set it up. So we do do a test print in all the settings, wouldn't we? Yeah. And then also as the blade blunts over time. You can also see that in the, the cutting stages, the blade is maybe a bit too deep. Yeah. You look at those stickers, but they're, they're peeling off a little bit in the corners. Yeah. It's tagging a little bit, so maybe the cut has a bit too much. I don't know. It'd be interesting to get my stickers and see. Obviously, it's on gloss. That setting's amazing. That's way better than the stickers we print. We ended up doing a UV DTF experiment, but it doesn't really work as great on this machine. Although it would have been a really big bonus if it did, but this actually still wouldn't deter us seeing as though we don't actually sell any UV DTFs anywhere at the moment. But after spending the day working with the machines and chatting to the technical team, we had a much better understanding about how we wanted to move forward and it was time to head back into the studio. Good morning guys, we are back from Bristol and today is actually our final day in the studio before we break up for Christmas so we're actually doing a little mini party, we're only working half a day today I'm just going to do a quick spread before Mike comes in and also we've got like Rachel, my friend coming who's also self-employed and she's moving into the studio and we also have my brother who used to pack orders with us and Mike and obviously his wife Ashley who helps us out classic Pringles for Christmas right there I'm looking so swollen I'm going to put out this spread and then I'm going to sit down with you and let you know my thoughts and what the plans are for the printer party spread. I've also done a little Christmas quiz for the pub so I'm going to staple all these and I've got like pens ready. Good morning guys. So we had a really nice last day at work even though we are currently in right now. It's the 22nd of December. We officially have broken up and I put it all on the website. I created like a brand new banner that said that if you ordered after the 19th that we won't be fulfilling orders till the 3rd of January but as you can see I'm currently in the studio. So I thought I might as well come in and fulfill some orders that are outstanding. We managed to get it completely down to zero which was great but a lot of them are calendar orders so we have I've actually asked for the post collection today. We're just gonna fulfill them while we're here. It just like makes me feel better, I don't know. Technically we are broken up though, so if we don't get them done, it's not the end of the world because the people who've placed the orders will know that 
were not fulfilling them till the 3rd of January onwards. I did want to finally talk to you about my decision about the roll and printers. So as you've seen, we were really, really excited with all the different printer options, but we still had our eye on the big VersaWorks Studio printer and the UV one in particular. When we were looking at it, we did see like the normal inkjet one, which did look really good. They're called solvent printers, I think they were called. And it still looks really, really, really good. However, we like the way that it like is like an instant curing and I think we made a decision we are now 85 percent sure that we want to actually invest in this printer so i'm very very excited for 2024 and what it has in store i think this could potentially change our business for the better hopefully and the amount of options that we will get by investing in this printer the different types of products we can do it just opens up so so many things and we are super super excited about it but as i say this is 85 percent sure that we want to get it but there is a few things holding us back at the minute one of them being financing so the next step for us is now financing options for this printer because it is very expensive and then not just the printer costs you have to bear in mind you have to bear in mind the running costs and also the setup costs we asked a lot of questions when we were there a huge thank you to you guys by the way if you put in the comments all different questions to ask we went through all these took notes and actually asked them when we were there things like ventilation so we need to purchase an extra box which is an extra 1500 pound for a ventilation system which basically is like an exhaust pipe that goes into this filter Think of it like an extractor fan and then it like filters the inks and the solvents and stuff. We'll also probably put it near a window so that there's better ventilation. So there's all things like this that we had to factor in. So that's an extra added cost. Then obviously we have the cost of the inks and then the paper and the different types of paper rolls that we want to use. So there's going to be a lot of a learning curve. So the next step now is if we can afford it and how we're going to fund it. So that is the next step, which we will be doing in the new year. So I'm kind of glad it's come at this time because we have the whole of Christmas to really ponder over it and think about it. Yeah, basically just rest and then in the new year we'll be getting the ball rolling and kick starting it so i'm very very excited to see what 2024 has in store for catnip it's going to be very 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 exciting if we do end up going for this printer like i say we are pretty much 85 percent sure that we do actually want to invest in it now when we went there and got to see our products in action this is like a no-brainer for us there's so many options we can do it was really handy having Mike there as well because we were like oh my gosh we could do this 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 and this and a lot of you guys actually mentioned in the comments as well one thing that's really great is we can experiment with products we can experiment and do a small run of products test them out and then um, if they work they work and if they don't they don't we could literally get new products out like this and not wait for manufacturers have that in between the backwards and forwards and then when we receive a product as well sometimes it's wrong and then we have to send it back and then so it ends up sometimes being two to three weeks for simple paper goods having it back in store means most of our stationery can come back in house which is really really cool even things like greeting cards and stuff we can make back in house so there's a lot to think about there is other things that we would have to outsource things like thank you cards because they're like done on big printer presses and done in like rapid speed kind of thing and i am very 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 excited but i'm gonna try not to get my hopes up too too much because we first need to figure out the funding of this printer don't know about you guys but i don't have like seventeen thousand pounds sat in my bank account just waiting to be spent so this is where we have to think of like financing and uh things like that so that is the next step which we are going to do in the new year but as you know i will keep you guys updated i kind of share this journey as i'm going through it and i'll share the journey of trying to finance it and what we come across it could end up falling through anyway now as i say i am in the studio and i'm just going to quickly get to work on some order packing so i thought for the end of the new year i'm going to do one final stretch of orders it's the 22nd of december by the time you're watching this it might be actually the new year so happy new year guys or you might be watching this like years later who knows <laughs> comment below when you're actually watching this if you you're watching it in real time or if it's nowhere near the new year let me know let's get the computers on and let's pack our final orders for the year 
speaking of the new year, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. The new year is a great time to set new goals and plan new skills going forward and I'm a huge, huge fan of goal setting and I really believe it's so important to update your skill set or even develop a new one. Skillshare is one of the best places I personally love to go. They have thousands of online classes from art, illustration, small business, photography, you name it, but I actually love their personal development classes and some of my favourite creators are on here like Ali Abdul. I love listening to his wisdom and his productivity methods and going into the new year I have so many plans that I would love to achieve including growing my own personal YouTube channel and now Skillshare makes it even easier because they now have this integrated learning paths like this one here, Grow Your First YouTube Channel which has curated a bunch of classes and compiled them into a list that you can make your way through. I think it's such a cool way of learning because it blends classes from a bunch of successful teachers and creators so if you guys want to check them out they are offering the first 500 people to use the link in my description a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again for Skillshare for continuing to support this channel it really means so so much. Now let's finish packing these last few orders for the new year. Long ago in a distant land there was a mystical bamboo forest guarded by the spirits of nature. Within this enchanted grove there existed a rare and magical species of bamboo that bore seeds of extraordinary power. These seeds were said to hold the potential to bring great fortune and prosperity to those who nurtured them with patience and care. Legend had it that the seeds of the bamboo possessed a unique quality. They required time, patience and unwavering faith to sprout and grow. The seeds were small and unassuming, but much like the dreams and aspirations that reside within each of us, the magic, however, lay in the journey they took before revealing their true potential. In our story, there is a humble farmer named Lee who stumbled upon a mystical bamboo forest. Intrigued by the tales of the magical seeds, he decided to gather a handful and bring them back to his village. Lee planted the seeds in their rich soil near his farmhouse and watered them diligently, day after day. Weeks turned into months and yet there was no sign of bamboo shoots breaking through the soil. Doubt crept into Lee's mind but he remembered the wisdom of the elders and continued to care for his seeds with unwavering faith. One day as Lee was on the verge of giving up, he noticed a tiny green shoot emerging from the ground. The bamboo had finally started to grow. With time, these shoots transformed into a majestic bamboo grove towering high above the village. The bamboo sought shade, shelter and a sense of wonder to the entire community. Lee's perseverance and belief in the magic of the bamboo seeds had turned his humble village into a prosperous heaven. The story of the bamboo seeds spread far and wide, inspiring generations to embrace patience, nurture their dreams and trust in the power of time. And so May, the story of the bamboo seeds, teaches us with patience, faith and perseverance, even the smallest dreams can grow into something extraordinary.
Well, I've just went and did a whole picking section for the biggest bunch of stickers ever. This doesn't even look like a lot because a lot of them are doubled up, but whoa, someone is extremely planned for the new year. Look at this, it's all like organization stuff as well, like bin days, vitamin stickers, period trackers. I love it, look at all these pastel colors. That is such a cute and satisfying planner sticker pack. And that is a wrap, even though technically it was meant to be a wrap the other day. Uh, but I just wanted to get in just to do those orders. Couldn't believe that huge planner order. How cool is that? So prepared for the new year. Uh, speaking of new year, I will see you in the next vlog where we will be planning our whole year ahead and definitely starting quarter one product making. I already have a collection idea for that. And then I want to try and aim for a launch in February. And then I'm going to do another launch in uh, springtime, which is going to be cute ducky ones. But we'll sit down and we'll plan that all together and I think as well we will reflect on last year's goals and see what we failed at and what we succeeded at and how I kind of want to plan for 2024 so I'll see you in that one all right then thanks so much for watching love you goodbye